Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing the very heavy March 2022 Whiff Box. So I do unfortunately already know what's in here. I am very excited about everything in here, but come on people with a spoiler post, you gotta put like a blank picture before the picture of what's in the Whiff Box that says like spoiler alert um, because I saw so many this month, more than I've seen like in any other month. And the reason why is because this is a really good value, similar to last month. Um, but anyway, let's chat about what's in here. So right off the bat, we do have a little flyer and this kind of gives a hint to one of the scents that's in here, um, the mermaids. So this says time for a refresh and on the inside, it is some spring cleaning checklist. So you can probably guess what the theme of this whiff box is. It says the first hint of spring is in bloom and it's time for spring cleaning. Your March whiff box includes an assortment of Scentsy Clean products and amazing fragrances, perfect for rejuvenating your clean routine. You'll, you're also getting an exclusive Scentsy Swedish dishcloth. So I think they did that last year. I can't remember if it was in March or April that they did that. Um, but excited about that. A cross between a sponge and a towel, this is re this reusable dishcloth is great for cleaning countertops and other surfaces. So, like I said, you can kind of tell what of this which one one of the scents that's gonna be in this box. Make a splash. Um, but we do have the dishcloth, and I think when I was seeing the spoilers, people were talking about how these can be different in each whiff box. So be careful if the only reason what or the main reason why you're ordering this whiff box is to get this specific dishcloth. It could be different. So this is the same kind of print that's on the Make a Splash cleaning products. It's like the little mermaids and mermen. Very, very cute. And it has that nice like teal color, which I love. And no samples. So it's just three full size cleaning products and Hey Tiger Lily, which is the scent of the month for March. It's like a mandarin floral. It's interesting because they don't usually do citrus with floral. So I think that's what kind of sets us apart from a lot of those other basic fruity floral scents. I don't hate this. It's not a favorite. You guys know I don't love floral. So speaking of floral, we have Cloudberry Dreams in the dish soap. I am not going to open this, though I do really want to smell it because I'm kind of curious. I'm thinking about maybe gifting this to somebody. I'm going to see, I'm going to offer it up as a gift and see if they actually want to use it and try out the dish soap. Um, so speaking of floral, we do have Cloudberry Dreams in the dish soap and I am going to open this up and just smell it because I'm really curious if I dislike it as much as I do <laughs> in the wax. So Cloudberry Dreams is not a wax for me, um, but I have heard from people that don't like the wax that the cleaning products are actually not half bad. So. Okay, yeah, it's not nearly as floral. There is definitely that floral note, but I feel like I'm getting a lot of raspberry. I don't mind that. I'm excited to try it. So I think that's going to be great for spring. There is a bathroom cleaner in Coastal Sunset, which is like the perfect scent for a bathroom cleaner. So I'm excited about that. And then there, last but not least, what I'm most excited about is the counter clean and make a splash. I really like the scent. I'm going to be very cautious of how often I use this in clean because I really like it in the wax. And sometimes if you use something in cleaning products and also in the wax, you can kind of like get burnt out from it almost. So I'm going to be cautious about using this, but I'm glad that the make a splash is what is in the counter clean in this box because that's the one that I would definitely like the most. Like, I don't know how excited I would have been if it would have been Cloudberry Dreams in the counter clean. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. All right, so that is it for what is in the Whiff box this month. I wanted to talk super quickly about 
the sample situation, um, specifically the scent of the month for the next month sample situation. So I had quite a few comments on my last with box video. I think that's what I set it in. Or maybe it was in the scent of the month box unboxing or sniff and share. I can't remember. But I wanted to kind of just talk about what people had been talking about. So number one, a lot of people, oh, quite a few people are annoyed that it's not in there anymore, just like I am. Um, there's also quite a few people that are like, oh, I totally saw this coming because they discontinued the, the sample in the scent of the month kit. However, I, I understand that statement. I get that. But like I said, they're still sending out the scent of the month for the future month sample in the whiff boxes for other regions. So they're still making them somewhere in some center, Distri not distribution, I guess it'd be more of a, like a production center. I don't know. They're still making them. That's why I don't understand why they're not putting them in our whiff box. A few other things people talked about were like they want to obviously increase sales and, and make people buy a bar the next month or, or encourage people to buy a bar the next month. So, okay, uh, understandable, I guess. Um, but like I said in my original video when I was talking about this, one of the biggest perks to the whiff box is that sample, in my opinion, because it helps people decide whether or not to get the next scent of the month kit, for example, for consultants specifically, or like for myself. Um, I like to talk about it and review it here on my YouTube. So like when I'm unboxing with box, I love to have that scent pot so I can do a quick little sniff and share. And I can't do that anymore. So it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I wish they would continue doing it, but now it's the third or fourth month in a row. So I'm not at all confident that it will come back. And again, I think, I think probably what it is, is that they want to try to encourage sales of like a full size bar the next month, encourage people to buy a full size bar the next month when it comes out. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for the Swift box. And I don't mean to be at all like a Debbie Downer uh, on the situation because at the end of the day, I'm going to still buy the Whiff box. It's still really usually a great value for money. So I'm going to continue to purchase it. It's just a little bit of, it's just the one thing that like put the Whiff box over the edge for me was that scent of the month sample. And now we can't, we can't get it. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for watching. Are you going to pick up the whiff box this month? Do you need cleaning products? I guess that's the question. If you do, this is a good value. Um, and obviously you can try out the scent of the month for this month, the Hey Tiger Lily. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.